In many languages, an exception will be thrown whenever there is any sort of problem. These languages are what I would call exception heavy. PHP is an exception light language, which in most cases will output an error instead. Errors can be output to the screen, log to disk, or both. PHP can also choose which error severities it will report and which it will ignore. Most common errors you'll run into are e-error, e-notice, and e-warning. Generally, PHP will keep on executing despite throwing most types of errors, but some severities like e-error or e core error will halt the program in an unrecoverable way. Some of this might feel like PHP telling you to eat your greens. Sure, it could let you get away with it, but PHP knows that in the long run, it's better to do things properly. For example, if a feature is marked as deprecated, you probably want to know about it before it's removed, otherwise an upgrade becomes much harder later on. So here is an index.php file that's completely full of broken stuff. On line 4, we can see the core error reporting function being used. This function is how we control which severity or errors will be reported, and this code specifically requests that only e-error, e-warning, and e-pass are reported. An error being reported means it will go into the log files and maybe be displayed on the screen, depending on the display errors option on line 7 here. If we run this script in preview mode now, we'll see two errors on the screen because we have display errors turned on. So let's run that preview. So here we see int5, some code seems to be working, and we see some errors, but they're all jammed up on the same line. This is because, however, this has been configured, it's not outputting errors with HTML, it's outputting them with just text. So if we view the source, we can see them more clearly. Now, what's really strange is that I know from the code that I've written that there should be four errors, because I intentionally broke a lot of stuff. Let's try taking a look at our code and see what could be wrong. So, the first thing you might notice is that 5 is being added to a variable called nope, and nowhere in this code is nope being defined. That should throw a notice, but we aren't seeing one. This is because we have not requested PHP to report notices, and as such, an uninitialized variable will be treated as null without any complaints. 5 plus null is 5, kinda, but it's not great to have that sort of code in our application. We don't want undefined variables roaming free without errors. Some developers pick and choose specific error levels like this, but it means that some might be forgotten. And it also means that newly added error severities like e-deprecated and e-user-deprecated will be missed. Picking specific levels unless you really know what you're doing is dangerous. The general advice of many is to turn error reporting level up as high as you can using e-all. That's really easy to change. You just remove all of these specific levels and change it to e-all. And we can save that. And if we go back to our view source of the preview, we now see a lot more errors. These are the four I'm expecting. We can see here there's a notice of an undefined variable, nope. It outputs five because it will still do the math. It will just warn you about it using a notice. Uh, there's a warning about creating a default object for an empty value. A strict standard error has happened. Non-static method foo bar should not be called st statically. And a fatal error right at the end called to undefined method foo nope. So let's see if we can fix this code really quickly. So, nope equals zero. That's one fixed. Now we can fix this warning by creating wrestler equals new std class. That should fix that error. Public function bar. So this needs to be a static function to fix that error. And to get rid of the final error, we need to make another function, call it nope. Let's see if this has worked. Ah, this should also be a static function. Perfect. The impossible has happened. We've got to the end because we fixed all of our errors thanks to reporting. One thing to remember is that you never want your end users to see errors on the screen. In production, you want to have display errors turned off. If you have access to the servers, you can remove that any set line from your PHP and rely on the server to decide if errors should be shown or not. Next, let's talk about exceptions.